Item number SCP-3111. Index Fingerball. Object class Safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3111 is to be kept in a safe storage locker at Site-17 and is only to be removed for testing purposes. When in an active state, SCP-3111 is to be observed by Level 2 staff or higher until it returns to its dormant state. Instances of SCP-3111-1 are to be stored either physically in a separate storage locker or digitally in a secure hard drive in the Site-17 computer server, depending on the instance. Description SCP-3111 is a collection of human fingers joined together at the metacarpophalangeal joints, forming a spherical mass measuring approximately 22 centimeters in diameter and weighing approximately 0.58 kilograms. Despite its pale pigmentation, SCP-3111 is biologically healthy. DNA testing has not discovered a match in Foundation records. Further physical testing has shown that SCP-3111 has the ability to regenerate, the time taken to do so depending on the severity of the injury. Dislocated and broken joints have been observed regenerating over a period of approximately 30 minutes, whereas removed fingers have been observed regenerating over a period of two hours. In its dormant state, SCP-3111 is non-reactive to external stimuli. The fingers can easily be manipulated along the joints, as far as the joints can physically allow. When placed within 0.25 meters of a word processing device, SCP-3111 will enter its active state. Acceptable devices range from standard typewriters to desktop computers to laptop computers, so long as the latter two have word processors installed. SCP-3111 will proceed to use its fingers for locomotion, similar to that of an arachnid. SCP-3111 will move in the direction of the word processing device at a speed of 25 centimeters per second. Once SCP-3111 reaches the device, it will proceed to use its fingers to type an instance of SCP-3111-1. Once SCP-3111 is finished typing, it will return to its dormant state until placed within 0.25 meters of a different word processing device. If removed from within 0.25 meters of the device before SCP-3111 reaches it, it will return to its dormant state. SCP-3111-1 is a written transcript of Game 6 of the 1975 World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox that took place on October 21, 1975. No variations between SCP-3111-1 instances and the official record of the game have been found. When an individual begins reading an instance of SCP-3111-1, they will vanish and reappear inside Fenway Park Stadium in Boston, Massachusetts at the beginning of the game. The game will proceed to play out as transcribed, after which the individual will reappear in their location where they began reading SCP-3111-1. This displacement lasts a period of approximately four hours. Testing has shown that subjects appear in a random seating section each time SCP-3111-1 is read. Displaced subjects have free range of movement both inside and outside the stadium and are incorporeal. Any attempt to interact with both onlookers and players have failed. SCP-3111 was discovered on December 21st, 1975, when the... Post Office reported a package containing SCP-3111 to local authorities. Embedded agents retrieved SCP-3111 and Class A amnestics were administered to witnesses. Addendum. The following is an enclosed note that was discovered with SCP-3111. Jeff, I felt bad about scheduling you for work on the night of the game, so I had a friend pull some strings. Took a while. And he came up with this. According to him, just put this thing in front of a typewriter, read what it gives you, and you'll be right there, whatever that means. He works for some rather unusual people, but he assured me that you'll love this, even if it is kinda ugly. I wish you all the best, and hope you enjoy this gift. Merry Christmas. Thomas.